Aloha Mai Kako, a Como Mai Curtain Call, a weekly program of reviews, previews, interviews, and features of and or with the great art and artists on Maui and beyond. I'm Paul Janes Brown. Our two intimate theaters, Maui Academy of Performing Arts Living Room and Pro Arts Playhouse, are presenting a marvelous virtual double feature for Maui thespian lovers. Go see Kimberly Akimbo on Thursday and then Birthday Candles on Friday and have a wonderful conversation about these two outstanding examples of contemporary theater by a convocation of our best actors and some exciting newcomers who will fit right into Maui's exceptional acting pool. Maui Academy of Performing Arts Living Room is presenting a marvelous play that was on Broadway only 16 months ago. Birthday Candles by Noah Hadel starred Emmy Award-winning actor Deborah Messing as Ernestine Ashworth. The MAPA production features a tour de force performance by Kirsten Otterson, a Maui theater veteran, as Ernestine. The playwright calls for four actors to play ten roles, only Miss Otterson and Paul Jackal as Kenneth, are the same characters throughout the 90 years and 100 minutes of the play. The play is about Ernestine's life. It begins on her 17th birthday in an undisclosed year. Her mother, Alice Liana Locke, is baptizing her into the family tradition of baking a birthday cake. Ernestine has been cast as Queen Lear in her high school play, a feminist statement, we are told. However, it appears by the apron Ms. Locke wears, similar to the one my mother had in 1948, it could be around that time in Grand Rapids, Michigan, not exactly a bastion of progressivism. Ernestine wants to rehearse her monologue, and her mother beams with pride at her talent. We meet Kenneth, Paul Jackal, in bow tie and sneakers, her next-door neighbor, who has arrived early to the party, much to the chagrin of Ernestine. He has asked her to the prom several times, and each time she has refused. Then in comes Matt Jefferson Davis, in aviator glasses and black leather jacket, right out of Rebel Without a Cause, who takes her breath away and sweeps her off her feet. The bad boys always get the girls. Each time there is a birthday, there is a chime and the lights dim. Now it's time for the kids to show up. Matt and Ernestine are married. We meet Billy, Elisha Cullens, and Madeline, Ms. Locke. Fast forward, Billy has a girlfriend, Joan, Mara Park. They marry and have a daughter, Alexandria, Ms. Park. Her father, Billy, and mother, Joan, are now separated. Then, Alexandria has two children, Ernestine, Ms. Locke, and William, Mr. Davis. Mr. Collins and Ms. Park play two more parts, John and Beth, respectively, but I won't identify them here because that would be a major spoiler. You will have to go to the show to find out who these characters are. Also, there is a goldfish, a not very welcome gift from Kenneth. He shows off his nerdiness when he intones the meaning of the fish's name, Atman, which means self in Buddhism and soul in Hindu. Goldfish only have three-second memories, and throughout the play, the Atmans change until we come to Atman 103, when Ernestine makes it to 107. The play is about the passage of time, the consequences of the decisions we make, loved ones coming and going, the infinite possibilities of reality, and the ways that family tradition bring us together, and how we are asked to surprise God and find our place in the universe. As in life, the playwright repeats speeches and lines that resonate. The ritual preparation of the birthday cake culminates in the actual baking of a cake backstage, and then they waft the baked cake fragrance into the theater. It is one of the best special effects ever accomplished on a Maui stage, and boy, does that cake smell good. And the audience believes she is actually baking a cake right there. Ms. Otterson is on stage for the entire 100 minutes of the show. Everything in the show revolves around her. There are very few scenes where actors speak to each other. Most of the time, she is involved in their dialogue. She takes the audience on a journey of 90 birthdays. She graciously accepts the same unwanted gifts year after year. She tries to make the best of a difficult marriage. She celebrates arrivals and mourns passings, all the time preparing cake batter to pop into the oven on stage, so we have the illusion she is actually baking it before our eyes. In the New York production, Ms. Messing, who admitted in an interview she was incapable of making a salad, let alone a cake, but through practice, she finally got it. Ms. Otterson ages 90 years to 107 years old without makeup. She does this brilliantly and convincingly through her physicality, 
vocal pacing, and attitude. Wisdom is imparted, pain expressed, betrayal endured, laid out in the frame of Ernestine's life. Ms. Otterston's work is beyond description. I cannot think of another play except for one-person plays that ask for this kind of endurance, stamina, concentration, and outstanding memorization from an actor, and she does it while preparing a cake without a cookbook. She is supported by an equally outstanding cast. Mr. Jackals Kenneth is such a charming bumbler who cannot accept no every time he enters. You know why he is there, and you wonder whether he will ever succeed. Ms. Locke portrays three characters, Ernestine's mother, who dies between her 17th and 18th birthday, her troubled daughter, Madeline, and her namesake, great-granddaughter, Ms. Locke, captures the essence of all of these characters and brings each one to life fully and completely in a marvelous series of performances. As Matt, Ernestine's husband, Mr. Davis gives us a bad boy trying to be good, a good husband, father, and breadwinner, and failing miserably at two of the three. Mr. Davis knows how to impart intimidation with a look. His great-grandchild, William, is fun, and he is clearly enjoying this character. Mr. Collins, one of our finest young actors, fresh from a very nice turn in Judas Kiss, gives us a Billy who is at war with his sister, trying to be a musician and attempting to chart a course for his future. His adult Billy is an exploration of happiness and wonder, as well as a dip into the vagaries of aging. Ms. Parks Joan is a nervous newcomer to the family who tries to ingratiate herself to Ernestine by sharing a nail polishing tradition she practiced with her now passed on mother. She is a bit of a klutz. Her granddaughter Alexandria is a darling character who loves Ernestine and names her first daughter after her. The intimate confines of the Mappa living room are the perfect venue for this play that takes place mostly in the kitchen as every scene has cake preparation in it. The great directors Ilya Kazan, Robert Altman, and Martin Scorsese were known to say 90% of directing is casting. David Johnston, the show's director, has definitely been blessed with an outstanding ensemble, and his lead could not have been better. However, Mr. Johnston's vision, sensitivity, and understanding of what the playwright is saying is way more than 10% of what makes this show a must-see. His director's notes sum up Mr. Johnston's credo, quote, his, the playwright's, work challenges me as both an artist and a human being and has asked me to grow in both regards, unquote. That is how Mr. Johnston approaches all his works, as growth experiences not only for him, but for those members of the public who choose to be a part of his audience. What a gift he is to Maui theater lovers. Excellent work from the creative team as well. Ricky Jones lighting, John Gramada's sound. Believe it or not, Ms. Otterson did the costumes, too. The scenic design team of Mr. Johnston, Karen Wright, Christina Sugars, Jason Pelusio, and Janice Toth. Ms. Wright also did the props. Big job getting the cake ingredients. Congratulations to all. Birthday Candles runs Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 3 p.m. until October 22nd at the Living Room Theater, 2050 Main Street in Wailuku on the third floor. Tickets are available online at www.mauiacademy.org. It's a must-see. Well, that's Curtain Call for this week. Mahalo for joining in. I'm Paul James Brown, Maui Strong. Ahui ho! <laughs>